All right, guys, the heat is on. It's beautiful out here today. It is warm. Thankfully, we've got some nice weather. Uh, going to snow next week. <laughs> Welcome to April in the Northeast. Well, we're going to do an oil change and oil filter on this expedition. First thing is, you've got all this stuff up here. you got the air cleaner, hoses. you got a steering column down there. Even if you take all this out, it is literally impossible to get in there to get that oil filter out. Now, I'll tell you right now, if you're going to do this save yourself a lot of time and hassle simply put your vehicle up on ramp like i did put some blocks behind the wheel and you're going to have to go underneath and get this oil filter uh there's my oil filter now i've taken a rag and cleaned off the oil on the back side of that filter there that's the first thing you want to do because whatever you put on there you don't want to take a chance of it slipping and um the only way you can get in here and get this is basically lay on your back, spin around, <laughs> and stick your hand up between the front and differential and try to get up in here and get something on it. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how I'm going to take this off. And like I said, I've taken a rag and wiped off all the grease and dirt. That's the first thing you wanna do because uh, whatever tool you put on there, you want to make sure there's no oil. Now, I even have the old handy screwdriver here, you know, the worst case scenario to go through it and turn it. Even if I did that, there's still really no room under there to turn this. So this is one of these uh, oil filters that you really just got to take your time at. We're going to attempt to use this. This is pretty wore down. Uh, I think I can get this on there. And once I get it on there, we'll just put a ratchet on here and somehow break it loose. I've gone ahead and tried some of these. These are too big. Um, <clears throat> this one here just spins around, and the reason why is probably because this is all tore up. Even if you have a good one, you're probably going to have an uh, issue uh, turning this because this handle is so long, it's going to hit something. It's going to either hit the frame side of the engine or hit that um, cross member. So really, the only option, I think the best option is to get something like this Make sure it's nice and clean and get the oil off on it and I uh, go from there. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and stick this up on there. Now I've got my pan here kind of set up. Luckily on this Ford, there is a plastic drain thing that kind of comes down and catches the oil. And kind of goes under the engine and comes out on the front. And this is what we're going to do here. We're going to go ahead and do it this way. And I'm just going to kind of let the camera roll here. I'm going to grab my pull <clears throat> and we spin back around and we'll see if we can get this up on there now I'm laying on my back and that oil filter is about three feet up so it's uh, kind of hard to get to so we'll get that on there oops all right so there we go maybe I can turn it a half inch I see I think I can turn it about three inches that's about it so let's go ahead and see if we can break this thing loose. Oh, boy, they put that one on there. Now, this engine, I drove it three hours ago. It's been setting with the hood open, and this motor is still pretty warm, so you really got to let these big motors cool down before you can get these oil filters off. All right, let's try this again. Oh, I still can't get it. I'm afraid I'm going to round this off, so let me... Pull this back off here and clean it off real, uh, really good. Make sure there's no oil on it. So I got this cleaned out as much as I can. I apologize to the dog next door barking. They always bark when I'm out here. I don't know why. They know I live here. <laughs> Go figure. All right, so we got the oil cleaned off of that. And here is the top of the oil filter up here. We'll go ahead and take this rag and make sure it's nice and clean. All right, that's nice and clean. So we're going to stick this back on there and hopefully we can get this off like this. Because if we can't get this off, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. I didn't go out and get any oil yet because this is the most important thing, getting this oil filter off. It's such a difficult one to get into. All right. All right. I think we got it. Ah, gee. All right. There we go. All right. That was a little scary. So let me pull this back off. And, uh, 
if I can get my hand up there now, if I can just turn this, we'll go ahead and spin it off and let the oil just kind of drain out. Now, when you take these oil filters off, let them drain out. There comes the oil because there's no point in just yanking it off and getting your hand full of oil. Just let it run down the pail. And trust me, you'll be a much happy campier. Much happier camper, that's what I'm trying to say. So it's a good thing they did put that a little drain pan there, trough, to catch that oil. So we'll go ahead and just kind of unscrew this a little bit more. Let the oil just kind of drain out for a few minutes. All right, we'll wait a few minutes and let that drain out. And we'll pull this filter off there and look at it. Okay, after about 20 minutes, uh, you can see what came out. And uh, now all I have to do is put my hand up here and go ahead and spin it off. And uh, we can go get our oil filter. Well, I should say we'll check this other oil filter first because I'm not sure what's going on with the other one. It looks a little big. Okay, and see when you take this off, once you let this drain out, look at that. Do you see any oil on my hand? Hardly anything. This is the beauty. Just let that drain out for a while after you loosen the filter. No need to be in a hurry. All right, so let's see what we got here. This is a pins oil. Someone's stuck on there. From there to there, to there to there. And I don't think this one will even screw up on there, so I need to find out what's going on here. Let me look up under there real quick. I'll put this one up in there and see if it'll even screw on there. Maybe they've changed a little bit. I'm not sure. So let me just try that. I'll just grab this. I hate to get this in all dirty and oily because if I do, I'm not going to take it back. Let me just see if I can get it up in there. I hope it works. I've had better days. I'll see. Let's see. Well, let's see. Well, it seems like it's screwing on. Well, you know what? I can't believe it. It actually works. How about that? It screwed right on. So, uh, if you go to the parts store and they give you a different type of an oil filter and it looks wrong or it looks a little bigger, make sure you check it. I think the best thing to do is check the seal. That's what's really important. You can see up in there, if this was any wider, it, it would... Uh, hit the back of that power steering pump there and it would have an issue Let me sit back up <sighs> not as young as I used to be and you can see the difference in this in these two so the difference in the sizes there all right so yeah I can see where the seal went on the block so I guess that oil filter will be a go so now all I have to do is go out and get a uh, five quarts of oil and fill it up with oil now make sure when you buy a new oil filter if you don't have any oil filter wrenches buy something like these personally i don't recommend these guys here anything like this unless you have a lot of room to work with just don't bother get you something like this trust me it'll work a lot better and they make these in different sizes that will make your life a lot easier so Go ahead and stick this oil. We'll put some oil in it, and hopefully I've helped you out a little bit. So uh, uh, we'll see you here in a little bit after I get some oil. Okay, so I uh, went out and bought a uh, oil filter wrench. This is a deep cap wrench, and you can see it fits on there nice and snug. And uh, we'll go ahead and spin this on there now from the bottom. Now, I had a comment earlier, someone saying... Uh, they were asking me if this was a joke. They thought this was the easiest oil filter to change on a vehicle. Well... Folks, let me just say, what seems easy to you may be a little difficult for somebody else. This is what I'm here for, to give you tips and to help you out, not to judge. And I hope a lot of you appreciate this uh, for me doing a lot of stuff like this. All right, so uh, lay back down here. Now, you can probably do it from the top, but I'll tell you what, you get a lot of stuff in the way that's in the way up there. So uh, you have to really do the oil change filter on the bottom. So I'll stick my hand back in there, and I got a little bit of oil on that seal, just enough to... Can I let it spin? And we'll go ahead and stick this on there. And I apologize if I don't have the camera just right. But laying on your back and spinning an oil filter can be a little difficult. So I guess the issue is if you can't get your oil filter off, then you could be in a lot of trouble. This probably 
what you really got to watch out for because a lot of guys tighten these down so tight when you put a wrench on them they collapse and you cannot get them off so we got that on there so let me get my uh, ratchet oops and we'll see if we can tighten this down a little bit now this only has to be tightened down to about 25 30 pounds it does not have to be brute force I go about three quarters of a turn and if you have a really good wrench like I've got oil fill wrench you can usually get these on and off without any issues of course sometimes it may take two hands to get the uh, oil, fil oil filter wrench off so let me go ahead and slide that off real quick all right so I had to take a big screwdriver and get on the edge of that and pop that off there a little bit because it was on there pretty good Oh, okay, now we got it off, and we got our new oil filter on. Now, as you can see on this side, we're looking in uh, through the uh, fender here. Uh, yeah, you can see the oil filter, but it, it's really pretty hard to get into from the top and the sides. I mean, I guess you could do it, but it's a lot easier just to get it from the bottom. You get the vehicle up a little bit, lay on your back, and if you have a really long arm, just stick it up there and uh, take it off and take it on. So uh, there we go. It's on. All I got to do now is put some oil in the vehicle, start it up. And there's the old oil. Pretty dirty. So there you go. So let me go ahead and we'll put some oil in and start it up. Check the oil level and make sure everything is okay. So uh, let's check that out. All right. So there's the aftermath. And I'll take that oil and put it in some jugs. I reuse all my used oil in my cans two new bolts and so forth so uh, it's kind of nice to have some of that laying around and i always find that these most of the time i find about six quarts fill these all the way up to the top of the dipstick and the big jug i bought was five quarts and i bought two extra on the side so it looks like it's full i've already started it so the beast is ready to keep on rolling i hope this helps you out and uh like I said, if you want to take all this stuff off and get it from here, uh, good luck. <laughs> but your better option is do it from the bottom. And uh, I think you'll find your job a lot less uh, painful and easier to do it that way. And if you have any tips or comments, please uh, put them in the section below. Thanks for watching. And like I said earlier, I'm here to give you tips and show you how to do certain things. I'm not here to judge. Like I said, something that seems easy for one person may be a little difficult for the other. So... That's what my channel is all about. Until my next video, guys, have a good one. I don't know. I'll see you then.